You are listening to Crazy <laughs> Radio. Crazy Radio. Hey, what's poppin' everybody? It's Eagle Drizzy. Welcome back to Drizzy Radio, a place where we talk about celebrity gossip, celebrity news, trending topics. If you're new here, kindly don't leave without subscribing. If you're a returning subscriber, I want to say a special shout out to you. But anywho, without further ado, let's get straight into some things, you guys. So, you all know that a couple of days ago, Zari posted a couple of videos on her Instagram. And of course, on the videos we could have seen, we could have seen, Soon to be Zari's husband's family and also Zari's family. Uh, Zari flew her father from UG to SA for the meeting, you guys. And of course, most of her fans were very, very excited because now they know for a fact that wedding preparations are underway. And of course, Zari hinted that white wedding could happen around December. So now the tea is, Juma Lokole decided to clown Zario. So what happened if, if you go to Juma Lokole's page, right, on Instagram, he wrote something, and of course, down in the comment section, many people were saying that is definitely a Zari hit. You know what I'm saying? Z Zari and Juma Lokole have this hate-love type of relationship where sometimes they hate each other, they throw shots at each other, but sometimes, you know what I'm saying, they be cool, laughing, kikiki, whatever Zari goes to tizi, Zari normally laugh with Juma Lokoli, you know what I'm saying, but immediately Zari leaves, Juma Lokoli will be out here again, trashing baby girl, okay, remember y'all, Juma Lokoli is the person that said the Zari's house is not that big, that them house helps are a little bit unkept. Allegedly. Well, if you go on Juma Lokole's page, right, he wrote something. So what did he write? He wrote this in a quote. Wambe njooni kwanza kuna jambo la kushangaza. Okay? To banan Swahili listeners, that basically means that gossipers, please kindly come here. There's something that is just crazy going on on social media. He also continued saying, Sasa... Itakuwaje jamani nyanyarukia anavyopenda kurukaruka na dunia leo hii msamba anaenda kuwekwa ndani He was asking a question okay he was referring uh, to this old woman allegedly that like to jump from one to another uh, all of a sudden is going to get married it was more like a question and then he said mm he also continued saying, Jameni wambe ya msamba inachakua jiko la maka mpaka hapa anavyo msoma hii code. Wapenda heka heka wapo. Okay, basically what Juma Lokole wrote there, it was more like he was actually mocking a character. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that is, you know, a little bit older, you know what I'm saying? And somebody that is well known from jumping from one dude to another. And according to him, he feels like the person that finally this alleged woman end up with is somebody that they never even expected. Because somebody that once, you know, it's been alleged that um, Shakib used to work at Zari's as a gate man, allegedly. Okay, that is what I hear some people say online. So when he wrote that, if you go down to the comment section, oh my goodness, everybody was talking about Zari's wedding. And of course, you all know that Juma Lokole just doesn't speak. Okay, when he is writing things like this, it's normally because he's going in on somebody definitely. And I've noticed that Juma Lokole, he likes to go in on Zari, you know, criticize Zari's body shape, criticize Zari's house, criticize Zari's husband. Yeah, he, he just love to speak ill about Zari. I'm just wondering why don't Zari just put Juma Lokole in his place once and for all like Tanasha Donna did. You know, I remember them days when Juma Lokole used to talk shit about Tanasha all the time. And I remember Tanasha Donna one day telling him, you need to pipe it down with me. Like, I'm not the one, sir. 
And also he used to do that with the Misa. You know, it's good for him to be talking ish about you, but not when he see you, he want to play this nice, miss good shoes. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm sure if Tanasha Donna was out here, you know, laughing at Juma Lokole's jokes, he could have been at Mama Dangote when all these things were going down. Juma Lokole could have been definitely been there giving us fake news, of course, spinning in the narrative. And I'm glad that Tanasha Donna cut him off as soon as she did. And I feel like there is about time you just cut this dude off. Okay, he, this dude is out here clowning you and basically just insul insulting your character and i don't think it's good you know whether that is old or not you know at the end of the day you know everybody was will get there you know everybody will get old someday so you don't have to be out here reminding her how old she is she knows that's why she's celebrating it every year you know what I'm saying? But anywho, that is just my opinion. If you don't like it, you can drag me down the comment section. I see if I care. Okay. Anywho, keep it classy. So let's chop it down the comment section. I want to hear what you have to say about this. And of course, I love you to the moon and back.